Welcome back to RC Hot Topics. I'm Morgan Chavez, Management Aide for the City of Rancho Cucamonga. And I'm David Eoff, Senior Planner with our Planning Department. And in this episode, we cover the future of EV chargers in the city, how to submit an application with our HR department, and what to do when you see a coyote. We hope you enjoy episode 14 of RC Hot Topics. Hello, my name is Alan Campos and I'm a building inspector for the city of Rancho Cucamonga. In the last decade, electric vehicles have been a growing trend. Many of the big name auto manufacturers have added their own EV designs to their showrooms and electric vehicle manufacturers such as Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid have appeared across the country. In just the past two years, California has experienced an increase of over 40% in all electric vehicle registrations and houses almost a third of EV charging stations across the US. This growing use of electric vehicles has increased the demand for charging stations. There are currently 55 privately owned EV chargers available to the public scattered across Rancho Cucamonga. The city has identified the need for more EV charging stations and is proactively working towards meeting this demand. We are currently standing in front of one of the most popular brands of EV charging stations, known as the ChargePoint. This is a ChargePoint DC Fast Charger, which is one of three DC Fast Chargers located here at City Hall. The City Ranch of Cucamonga is currently installing four DC Fast Chargers at our Central Park location, which will be available to the public in the upcoming weeks, and has plans to install many more in the upcoming year. The City Rancho Cucamonga embraces the opportunity to serve our community and offer energy efficient alternatives. Please be sure to check out our website at www.cityofrc.us for more updates on new EV charger locations to meet your charging needs. My name is Emily Nielsen and I'm the Human Resources Technician here with the City of Rancho Cucamonga. The Human Resources Department oversees all full-time and part-time positions for the city. When a new position opens at the city, it is posted on our city website careers page. Here you can find current position openings, review job descriptions, and submit an online interest card. When looking at our current open positions, you can review the job bulletin for more information about a specific position. On the bulletin, you'll find the position requirements and expectations, what the hiring department is looking for, the application process, position benefits, and an inside look into our Team RC culture. To apply for an open position, simply click on the position you're interested in, hit the apply button in the upper right hand corner, and create an account if you don't already have one set up. Then you can complete the application and submit it for review. If there are no current position openings that interest you or that you're qualified for, we encourage you to submit an interest card online found on our careers page. Select menu and then job categories. From here, you can select the specific career areas you would like to receive email notifications for. Once a position opens in one of your selected areas, you'll receive an email notification so that you can apply for that position if you're still interested. Also, don't forget to follow our different social media accounts so that you can stay up to date on our current job postings as well as receive career advice and tips. You can find us on Facebook at City of Rancho Cucamonga Job Opportunities, on LinkedIn at City of Ranch Cucamonga, and on Instagram at Team RC Jobs. Lastly, should you have any questions on applying or what it's like to work for Team RC, please do not hesitate to give our Human Resources Department a call. Hello, my name is Officer Wilson, and today I would like to share with you some tips on how to coexist with coyotes. Coyotes are found throughout California and are extremely adaptable and able to survive in many habitats, including residential areas. Coyotes are similar to a small German Shepherd in size and shape. They have a long, slender muzzle with large pointed ears and their tail is round and bushy. Coyotes are normally seen at night and early evenings, but can also be found during the day searching for food and water, especially during the breeding season or when resources are scarce. Coyotes play a vital role in ecological balance by helping keep populations of smaller animals like rats, mice, and rabbits in check. The Rancho Cucamonga Animal Center will assist residents with tips on humanely coexisting with coyotes, and we will also respond to coyotes that are sick, injured, or are determined to be a public safety risk. 
please be aware that the Rancho Cucamonga Animal Center is prohibited from trapping and relocating coyotes. The following tips can help deter coyotes from your property. Never feed or attempt to tame a coyote. Small children or pets should not be left outside unattended. Remove sources of water, especially in dry seasons. Trim ground level shrubbery to reduce hiding places. Place trash in tightly closed containers that cannot tip over. Do not leave pet food or small pets outside at night. Provide secure enclosures for rabbits, poultry, and other small livestock. Pick up fallen fruit and cover compost piles. Install motion sensitive lighting around your home. Examples of hazing techniques include using air horns, banging pots and pans together, stomping your feet, waving your arms, or throwing rocks or other objects towards the animal. This will let the coyote know that it is not welcome and will help deter them from the area. For more information or assistance, please call 909-466-7387 and press option one to reach field services. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in today. If you would like RC Hot Topics to cover a specific service or program, please email your suggestions to chooserc at cityofrc.us. We'll see you next month with another exciting episode of RC Hot Topics.